Hi, I'm Kristen. I'm from George Brown College from the Jewelry Arts Program and today we're going to be making some really fun acrylic simple jewelry. So I use Inkscape to design uh, jewelry to be laser cut um, and within the designs in Inkscape you need to think about connection points for jewelry. Um, I've added just a simple hole here that's going to connect my bale which is going to be a jump ring for um, connecting it to a bracelet. So when you're designing in Inkscape or Corel Draw or whatever program you're going to use, you want to make sure that you are considering uh, what line colors you're going to use for um, instructing the laser to cut. Uh, the first color that it's going to cut is the red, which is the interior, which we want to do first because if the blue cuts first, then it might shift and uh, the center lines won't get cut out nicely. I'm going to use 55 power and 0.50 speed. So we're about to cut a 1 16th of an inch acrylic sheet with the Speedy 360. So we're just going to take the covers off of these acrylic pieces. So these uh, adjustable bangles and neck wires are available at any local beading store or jewelry supply store. Um, and then you can just use, I'm just using these jump rings to attach to the bangle. And you can use pliers as well, but I like to use my hands because pliers leave marks on the metal and you can get a good connection. They're pretty work hardened, so you don't have to worry about them opening later for people. And then I have my little charm bracelet. Pretty fun. Okay, so now I'm done cutting uh, and I'm gonna make these pendants, necklaces, um, and I'm use the marble green acrylic and I'm gonna peel off the cover. And now I just have to assemble jump rings to attach them which is easy because I have this connection point between these two and then I have this whole connection point between the, that and the jump ring. So this one's gonna sit sort of sideways, but that was the intention of the design. I'm gonna use two jump rings just because I like the way it looks. You can do whatever you want to do. Again, you can use pliers to um, bring the jump rings together, but they're not so work hardened that uh, you can't do it with your hands. I do not like pliers. I think they put plier marks in jump rings and then it just makes the jewelry all marked up. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.